Sega. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Z-Man here to bring you part one of a new LP. LP number 13 is, of course, going to be Sonic and the Black Knight, the game you guys chose to play. Let's get this thing started. Of course, Sonic and the Black Knight. You guys voted for it, so I'm going to play it for you. It was actually a really close vote. I believe there were like four games or so that were within a couple of votes of each other. So that was actually pretty impressive. Um, I, know, I know Pokemon and Spyro were definitely really close to being in the mix. But of course, this is Sonic and the Black Knight. Of course, if you didn't notice, it is based on Arthurian Legend. It's the second bo uh, second game in the storybook series, which we're probably not going to get another game considering the, uh, the move that Sonic's going towards. There was a little rumor of one earlier made by Sega Mexico, but... That, of course, never did pan out, so probably nothing there. But yes, it is based on Arthurian Legend, which, quite frankly, I figured I'd like this game because I do really, really, really like Arthurian Legend. Um, I mean, I read La Morte de Arthur. I, I read uh, The Crystal Cave, which is a story about Merlin in his early days. I thought it was... I thought all these stories about King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table and their epic quests were always cool. However, this game is not an accurate portrayal of the King Arthur story. So if you're looking for something, you know, real, something true to the King Arthur story, you're not going to get it here. So let's run through this little title screen, the menu screen area. It's the adventure, of course, the single player story. You can also do multiplayer battles. I believe they have online battles, maybe. Um, but you can play as a bunch of characters like Sonic Shadow, Tails, Knuckles, uh, Blaze. I know Amy Rose is in there, but you can also play as the Sonic and the Black Knight characters like uh, Lancelot, Percival, um, Gawain is... Gawain's, yeah, Gawain's out there. I think the Blacksmith is even playable. There's also two uh, characters you're going to unlock for the battle mode, and those are Sir Galahad and Sir Lamorak, and they're actually... Uh, the alter egos for those guys are actually Silver and Jet. So if you want to play as Jet in a storybook game, there you go. These are the world rankings. You can do levels from the game and, you know, get ranked on them in over, over a world scale. This is the treasury. As we go throughout the game, we're going to be getting items that we have to identify in the identification screen. We'll get to that when we get to that. This is where you come to see all the items you've collected and see which items you still need. This is the gallery. This is where, when we finish levels, we're going to be seeing, hey, you got a new gallery item. Uh, this is basically background music, dev stories, uh, artwork, fan artwork. I know there was a fan artwork contest, and that gets thrown in here. Uh, movies, if you want to go back and watch cutscenes. And, of course, the options at menu. But we don't want to sit here looking at the menu screen all day. Let's get started.
am I? Being from a distant world... Forgive my abrupt summons. stuff like this. Dog. I shall give chase. Spread out and go after them. Slay them on sight. Orders are absolute. Yes, gold. but without loyalty to the king, we are nothing. Still, the king, he has changed, and this kingdom. So after that absolutely gorgeous cutscene, we were introduced to Merlina, who called Sonic into the world of King Arthur, using the same chant that uh, Eraser Jin used to call the Egg Ifrit the Ifrit Golem thing. We also get to see that just like in Sonic and the Secret Rings, Sonic characters are going to be playing the parts. Why'd you stop me? I could have taken him down, no problem. You do not understand. He cannot be wounded. How can that be? He bears the scabbard of Excalibur. Hey, wait a second. I think I've heard that name before. Um, let me see. Excalibur is King Arthur's sword. Oh, yeah, right! So that means... This is the land ruled by King Arthur. Whoa! But was that really the king himself? I mean, he seemed way different in the stories. Let us go. We can talk along the way. Let me introduce myself. I am Merlina the Wizard. I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Obviously, Merlina is supposed to be the Merlin of this game. She's actually Merlin's granddaughter, if I remember correctly. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the actual gameplay portion of Sonic and the Black Knight, which, it's motion controls. It's not always good motion controls. It works well enough. Let's say that. There are times where it will definitely get on my mind and I'll point out when I'm trying to swing the Wii Remote and it won't actually do it. But you'll notice this is very similar to, say, Sonic and the Secret Rings. You're running on a set track. You can only run forward. You can always go backwards like so, but um, not always advised because you don't actually go backwards. At least they put the, what is that called, the back dash. Uh, in the game normally, which is very helpful. Of course, you can still jump with the A button, you can do an air dash, and uh, swing your sword with the Wii Remote. I actually find the best way to attack enemies is to do a jump and air dash and then swing almost immediately, because that allows you to do combo swings, like so, that I tried to do desperately, but I can't freaking do correctly, and I probably didn't get my 5 star ranking there because I screwed up, didn't I? couldn't get the combo swing in there but a lot of people do complain that the uh, sword gameplay does kind of ruin the flow of the normal Sonic game and I can see at points where that happens uh, especially when it comes to guarding but 
once you get really good with the sword play, which I'm not going to claim that I am, but I can do it well enough to go fast. Um, you can you can fly through the level. Now this is the identification screen. Of course, like I said, we're throughout the level we're going to get these items that we need to identify. And each, ident each item needs a certain amount of points to identify. For example, if I want to identify this thing and find out that I have a donut that is very useless, I now have a donut in my items treasury screen or whatever. I also get a Narcissus, another useless item. But some of these items can be used later to equip to Sonic to give him special perks. Um, there's also items that can be used to craft he things. Was once a wise and just ruler. He was blessed with noble knights and praised by all. However, he got a little sidetracked. Yes, Nimu, the Lady of the Lake, mm. gave him Excalibur. He was bewitched by the power of immortality its scabbard bestowed. He became immortal, summoning legions from the underworld. He is plunging his kingdom into a world of horror and chaos. You mean like a big old haunted house? <laughs> this will be cool! Stupidest It'll be like reaction all ever! Maybe so, but I fear there will be nobody left to enjoy it. We must act now! You mean take out King Arthur? What about the immortal thing? Beyond this misty lake sleeps a sacred sword. With that sword... Yeah, yeah, I'll go get it. Be back in a flash! Wait, Sonic! Good luck. So, we're off to go save the sacred sword. God, the story in this game is so bad. The voice acting still is not up to the level that you come to expect in games, especially even during like the Wii era back back then. Voice acting was bad, of course. Still did have the four kids voice cast, so that still doesn't excuse the stupid writing. It's good. This will be cool. It's gonna be like Halloween all year round. God damn it, Sonic! Why do you make me hate you sometimes? Arr! Let's go ahead and get started on this special challenge where we retrieve the sacred sword from the stone. If it's not from the stone, so you'll notice that we just grabbed those yellow fairies that I'm grabbing currently. Um, those are actually your rings from the game. There's no actual, you know, rings or anything like that. Uh, rings are replaced by fairies. Dash, dash pads are replaced by fairies. Um, soul gauge is also replaced by fairies. Those red fairies you saw me grabbing at the beginning are also, uh, you know, used in the soul gauge. I'm sorry for hitting the windscreen there. But I have an awkward recording setup, and whenever I swing my wing Wii remote, I ha I'm risking hitting something here. It's not very good. Um, yeah, the soul gauge, we're going to be getting that later. The fairies, they didn't need to use the fairy trap. Alright, let's start blocking with the Z button. And yes, this does make Sonic slower than crap. You'll also notice we've got these uh, village type people here that you see right in front of you now. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of those guys later on during the game, and uh, we are going to have to make sure we don't hit them. If you hit them, your score gets dropped, because you're not supposed to hurt innocents. It's all based on chivalry and all this crap. Screw chivalry. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, but later, we're going to be able to have the opportunity to, you know, help these villagers and stuff like that. Dang it, why'd I get hit? I'm not going to get my five-star rating anymore. Probably wasn't going to get it before anyway because I did miss a bunch of targets. Come on, swing your sword, Sonic. This is, this is why I don't like motion controls. They're not, not responsive. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Um, like I was saying, don't hurt the villagers, but sometimes they're going to get really, really, really dickish with the villager placement and regards to the enemy Very placement. Well. Like, Why place a, a, a freaking enemy in the middle challenge. of dozens of villagers, and if you try to hit that enemy, you're gonna kill a villager. You're gonna screw your sto score, but I feel the need to kill every enemy, so my score is going to suck. Now, this is the Mist Dragon. It is a worthless piece of crap boss. It's also our first boss of the game. Come on. It's really annoying to beat because back 
because Sonic's lateral movement is so bad and it turns its head from side to side, but Sonic refuses to move fast while moving laterally. Get back, he's about to do a slam attack. Cool, alright. Sonic! Rick! How did I get hit by the easiest boss in the game? Why? Because Sonic wouldn't move. He was in the middle of a swing animation that I was trying to get rid of by pressing back and hey god this game it's annoying and yet i don't know it's not horrible though that's the thing it's not a horrible game it's just it's not always good it's usually not good that's the problem all right let's do some identifying here and then we'll probably finish up the part Woo! i got a new mission in the misty lake what did i get a skipping stone a narcissus and another Narcissus. All very useless items. So, in the next part, we are going to be taking on the boss, King Arthur. The final boss of the game. Except for you have to face him multiple times, so it's not not really, you know, final boss. It's more like, you know, he's the boss. Here you go. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to support this new series that you guys chose for me by leaving a like, leaving a comment. Let me know what you think of the game, because there are a lot of mixed opinions about this game. I'm on one side of the fence where I think it's not a good game. I don't like it. Um, but, I don't know, I'll go through and play it. It's, it's not a horrible game like Sonic 06 where it's just in your face horribly bad. Um, you know... It's not to that level. But I do want to hear what you guys think of me. I'm not me, but the game. I don't I, I do care what you think of me, but eh, we'll, we'll get we'll get on that touchy subject later. Thanks for watching. I'll see all of you guys next time.